I've got a folder on my bookmarks toolbar with the websites for my points of interest. And I've saved the images that I want for my points of interest. So I'm gone to the scene with Roosevelt Lake. I'm going to click Add Point of Interest. And I'll name the point of interest Roosevelt Dam. I'll click Describe this point of interest. And I'll type Roosevelt Dam was built in 1911 to create Roosevelt Lake. Now I'm going to go to my Points of Interest folder and find the site for this image of Roosevelt Dam. And I'm just going to open it in a new tab. And it says, I need to provide attribution for this image. So I'm going to get the name of the creator, which is Nicholas Hartman. And then I'm going to select the URL, right click and left click copy. Go back to my tour and I'll type photo Nicholas Hartman. And then I'll press command V, control V on a PC to paste the URL. And now I'm going to go get my point of interest and I want to put it right on top of the dam. And now I'll click on this image icon. Click on Select an Image. There's the image of Roosevelt Dam I saved. This is Nicholas Hartman's picture. I click on the uh, thumbnail and click Open. Click Add. And I'm going to make it smaller by grabbing one of these handles on the corners. Now I'll click Publish, Publish again, I'll click Done, I'll go to the tab in my browser where I already have the uh, published version of the tour open. I'm going to click on Refresh, we'll go to the scene of Roosevelt Lake. Now right on the dam, I've got my point of interest. I click on it, and I see the image of Roosevelt Dam. I see the text I wrote that explains about Roosevelt Dam and also provides a credit to the photographer. So now I've added a point of interest.